In this video, I'll talk about the recuperation modes in the Porsche Taycan. So Taycan is a little bit different than other electric vehicles in that we don't do one pedal driving. And so that's what you'd feel in other electric cars. You know, Tesla, for example, is uh, one pedal driving is the recuperation happens when you lift off the accelerator, uh, pretty heavy recuperation. In fact, it's so heavy, uh, it can actually stop your vehicle. And they call it one pedal driving because as you get used to that feeling, you can actually come to a complete stop without actually pushing the brakes. In the Taycan, uh, there's a completely different theory. And by default, the vehicle will actually have no recuperation or zero recuperation when you lift off the accelerator. And what will happen is your vehicle will just coast. And uh, an object motion, staying in, mo in, staying in motion is more efficient. The, the uh, Taycan is very efficient in going through the air, uh, very low drag coefficient, uh, low rolling resistance, depending on what tires you have. And uh, again, an object in motion, staying in motion. In fact, a lot of times when you go on the freeway, your car will basically maintain the speed that it's going at. Now, recuperation happens in a Taycan when you push on the brake pedal. And that's because with 800 volts, the Taycan can recuperate up to 265 kilowatts of electricity uh, using the electric motors as generators. And that friction can help slow down the vehicle. In fact, about 80 to 90 percent of the braking you'll do in a Taycan will be will happen with recuperation instead of the physical brakes. So that's normal driving. Again, you lift off the accelerator, you'll coast, you push on the brake pedal, and the car will do the recuperation for you. If you need a lot of braking, that is when the normal brakes will come into play, but the car blends that feeling and decides for you uh, what you need to do. Again, normal driving mode, range mode, the car will just coast. However, we have this button on the steering wheel. And if you go over to the PCM, uh, there's also the recuperation modes that you can choose from. And you can either push on here or better yet, it's easier to just do it from the steering wheel. If I tap that battery button with a circle around it or arrow around it, you can see now it's displayed on the dash. Now I'm in recuperation mode on. And again, I'll show you it's on the PCM as well. So what this is going to do, it's going to do slight recuperation. Again, not necessarily designed to recuperate a lot of electricity. It's actually just meant to hold the car back from, you know, essentially not going faster and, and start slowing it down. And really, it's more like driving a normal car. And the feeling that Porsche wanted uh, to tune this to is you're driving in a performance manner. You know, you're in a manual car or a car with, you know, paddle shifters and you're downshifting. You're getting some engine braking and, you know, and then you start applying the brakes. Okay, so instead of lifting off the accelerator, basically maintaining your speed, now your car is going to start going slower, uh, but not to the extent that it would be one pedal driving. And so this is just, again, meant really for more sporty driving. And in fact, if I turn it off and I switch my drive mode to sport, you can see that the recuperation comes on in sport or sport plus. And again, that's really the, the, the main purpose of this mode is really just hold the car back. All right. And there's another mode, the final mode, and you'll see it over here. It says auto. And then to engage auto mode on the steering wheel, you want to hold down the recuperation button for a few seconds. Oops. There we go. And you'll see that we're in recuperation auto mode because there's a little A now displayed. And this is a great mode. It really blends the feeling of the two modes together. And uh, if you're cruising on the freeway, for example, you lift off the accelerator and there's nobody in front of you, well, your car will just go ahead and coast. However, if you approach a car or somebody gets in front of you, your car can now do recuperation to a certain extent to help slow you down from approaching that car in front of you and maintaining a distance. And what this does is just allows you to drive in a more relaxed manner. Again, because the car is so efficient, a lot of times you'll, you'll realize you'll have to get on the brake a lot more than you would on a traditional car. So auto is a great mode because it, it maintains that, that distance for you. 
Now it's not adaptive cruise control. It can't come to a complete stop. So it's just really for um, some, some minor corrections, uh, but it, it does a great job of maintaining that distance between you and the car in front of you. All right. And again, the whole purpose of the recuperation modes in the Taycan is to feel like a normal car, to feel like a Porsche, 